Okay, welcome to our studio, Klartraum Studio, and I'm Helmut Ebrich, that's Nadja Lind, and? And today we're gonna talk about uh, how to synchronize our laptops uh, via MIDI LAN connection. <laughs> so for the network media sync, you always use a LAN cable, cable, because um, we recognize that uh, Wi-Fi is not a stable, most stable connection. So it's important um, that both computers are directly connected or you have a good router that's fast enough. Um, and we are now starting with a software setup. Uh, one laptop will be the master and one laptop will be the slave or other laptops will be the slaves. And you need a program named Audio MIDI Setup and you find it in your spotlight, for example. And first you see the audio setup, but we need the MIDI setup. You, so you have to go to window, show MIDI window. And then you have to choose network and double click. And then uh, it's important to enable the session so that the slave computers can see you. So you press the enabled <coughs> checkbox and this is all what you have to do. On yeah. the slave side, you have to uh, connect your LAN connection as well, of course. Choose <coughs> Go Utilities, Audio MIDI setup, and then Show MIDI window. Then you have the network connections, and there you see the master, in this case, Helmut. And you have the, the local name here, in this case, session one. So you see there's a session uh, enabled. And then you press connect. And you see the connection. To really see if it works, um, you just go to your MIDI setup in Ableton and see um, MIDI. And you should have an input and output network session. For a master, it's important that you're sending the MIDI synchronization. So output and set it to sync on. And that's all. Uh, on the slave side, you see in the MIDI tab, uh, network session, and you put you switch the sync mode to on. Here you see uh, the sync delay, and if I have enabled the external mode here, you will see that when the master presses play, my tracks are running or playing. So if I change the if I change the tempo, it will also magically change on Nadia's side. For example, I go to 100 on 100. It should change on her side around 100. So I can now control Nadia's laptop. <laughs> Up to 400 BPM. <laughs> <laughs> So, and one very uh, important point is to synchronize the systems um, because most systems have different sound cards. For example, I'm using an RME and Nadja is using the Allen and Heath. So, uh, you always have to set a different uh, meter synchronization, and Nadja will do it on her laptop. So, you should hear that the bass drum is out of sync at the moment. So you open the preferences and here you have the um, D 
delay or latency. You can also use the arrow up and down to, to go in little steps. And when, you, when you're synchronized, you can just close it. Ah, okay, and, and it, takes, um, it takes a little while sometimes um, to, to get in sync. So don't be, uh, don't be afraid if you start and, and it's not in the right time immediately. It will take a little latency to get in sync. Like one, two seconds and then it should be there. So uh, yeah, we used it. Um, we used this setup in 50 or more live sets, and um, it was always stable. It never had any problems. Before that, we used uh, old style MIDI synchronization via USB connection, and that was very, very unstable and always. Yeah, it, it didn't work out very well. So uh, one advantage is it's very stable and you can connect to all slaves in one network system. So for example, VJs will synchronize to your master computer also. And yeah, and the other advantage is you don't need any external equipment anymore. Um, you can also try to go over Wi-Fi if it's not live critical. So this is how we do our stuff and and if you have any questions uh, or comments you can leave a comment uh, on Facebook or our YouTube channel. Bye. <laughs> Till next time. <laughs>